Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the NVIDIA Shield TV console and I wanted to show you some MSX emulation running. I'm going to be running a couple games from the MSX1 and the MSX2. Now here in the US we did not get the MSX unless it was imported by your brother, cousin, or uncle who was in the military and probably stationed in Japan somewhere. But the MSX is awesome. Now, it released in 1983 in Japan. It did go to Europe. There were many revisions of the MSX. There was the MSX1, the MSX2, the MSX2+, Plus, the MSX2 Plus Turbo R, and tons of companies made this console, like Sharp, Daewoo, Sony, Yamaha, Canon, and a bunch more. Companies I've never heard of made this console. 95% of the games, um, the good games, were made by Konami. So Konami really had a real strong hold on the MSX unit. Hudson had a few great games also, but Konami pretty much dominated while making games for the MSX. And the first game I'm going to play is Salamander, which in the U.S. this game is known as Life Force. And it plays a lot like um, Gradius or Type R. It's a side-scrolling shoot-em-up game. Get the upgrades and everything. But this is the Konami uh, Japanese ROM Salamander. And it really is a great game if you're into the shoot-em-ups or even just into old-school gaming. No, I didn't want to go back to normal. I just really screwed up my chances up here. There we go. Now I want to get the ripple and the two-way, which are two really good um, upgrades to have in the caves when you get up to the cave area. I could go laser, but I think I'm going to stick with the ripple gun we have here. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, that sucked. You guys pretty much get the idea of this game. We're going to exit out of here. Now, the problem with the MSX emulator for the NVIDIA Shield um, console is the ads at the end. And I believe you can get the paid version and it will delete the ads. But next up, I'm going to try Nightmare. I haven't tried this game. Oh, I don't have the game. Wow. Wow. Well, then we're going to do Bomberman 1983. Now, I only have a few MSX games here, but there were hundreds of great games and hundreds of really horrible, crappy, shoddy games. Nice. On to stage two. So this is the original Bomberman. A lot of people play love Bomberman on 64. Never have never even seen the uh, original Bomberman game. Two for one. That was pretty good. So believe it or not, this game does get pretty hard. As you progress through the levels, if you blow up, sometimes you'll get chests when you blow up certain blocks. And if you blow the chest up, a bunch of these little smiley guys come for you. 
Sweet, stage four. Oh gosh, what happened? So I have to get out of there really quick, huh? Auto bomb setting stage. Very crazy. Back out of here. So you can see as of right now, everything runs pretty decent on the MSX. There is a little bit of slowdown um, on some fast paced games. Space Manbo. And another Konami game. So I believe the only other game that I have that's not made by Konami is that Bomberman. This is another really good side-scrolling uh, shoot 'em up game. I need to turn rapid fire on just to cheat these games a little bit. Oh man, I ran right into that sucker. I'm trying to set the controller in my lap and jam on the shoot button. Now ideally is to play with the the D-pad. Need some upgrades here. I got a little bit of upgraded uh, shot here. Oh, good! I just got my uh, bombs too. God, just jamming on this. And we'll try one more. As you can see, Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 are on here also. I really wanted to try Nightmare, but the ROM is not inside. So we're going to go with Kings Valley 2. Do your best. Okay, guys. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, I mean, that's all I can say. So I know I got to get up here. I can jump if I lose that. So I guess the best thing to do would be to get away from him, save my pickaxe till I get up here. That way I can get, shoot, okay, yes. There we go, okay. Now I can unlock this door. 
And I'll just take him out while I'm here. Grab my sword, man. What? Oh my gosh. So, I totally did this wrong or something, guys. Like I said, I'm not sure. So, I, I got a basic idea now of what to do. There we go. So we're going to go to stage two here. And this just looks pretty crazy. Um, I guess I should... That's it, guys. I really, you know, there's, I know there's, it, it, it actually, it's pretty simple. You just got to make it through. There we go. Okay. So I shouldn't have broke that one first and all this, but the game is actually pretty fun. I've made it up. So the game is actually pretty fun once you get the hang of it. It's just a puzzle. I really don't know how to explain it, but the game's pretty good. And like I said, there's tons of great games for the MSX. I definitely recommend you download the emulator. Get you a few games, see if you like it. If you don't, you can go ahead and delete it. But try it out, see how you like it. That was the MSX 1 and 2 running on the NVIDIA Shield TV console. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments or questions, Leave them down below or send me a private message. And if you could, hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. One other thing, guys. I need some ideas. Let me know what you want me to do. I'll do emulators on anything. Set up anything with emulators on any operating system. Let me know down in the comments or send me a private message. And like always, thanks for watching.